Oh boy, here we go again. Yesterday, we evolved our manticore. We started with one quite resemblance of this guy right here and ended up with this guy over here. Yes, I know they look kind of similar, but this guy is clearly a darker shade of orange. And he can shoot fireballs, of course. I legit don't know if it's an illusion or something, but this guy is certainly bigger than that guy. Although it does look a little bit like an optical illusion right this second. But anyways, what if I... What to tell you? We might be able to do it all again. But do what all again, Miola? What do you mean? Evolve another manticore? That doesn't sound that exciting. You did it just yesterday. No. 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 What if we could evolve this manticore? The one we evolved yesterday. What if we could evolve him again? Because that is seeming like a possibility. You see, my friend back here requires three certain items to do that. Two of which we actually already have. I just need a third one. The problem is we got to put it all on the line to get that third one. And I mean it when I say it. We're putting it all on the line. Because that third item that we need is none other than the Lava Golem Prime Core. Yeah, would you get a load of that, right? We've got the King Kong head. We've got the Dire Bear head. Lava Golem Core. The good news, I know exactly where to locate one of these guys. The unfortunate, bad, terrible news is I've never fought one before. I've never killed one before, but I've been killed by its poison brother. And I kind of got a little bit of PTSD from that experience. But things are different now. We have stronger dinosaurs at our disposable. Disposable. <laughs> we got multiple dinosaurs. And mammals, for that matter, at our disposal. Dragons. Dimorphodons. I'm going to ignore Midnight the Sarko. He hasn't been ridden in weeks, but he's just happy chilling here on the beach. We got the trio of Gorilla Squad over here. Maybe they want to bust out and do something about it. Speaking of busting out and doing something about it, I see something up there that needs something doing about. Speaking of which, my guy here needs a name. He is the Fire Smolder. It actually kind of makes sense now that he is Smolder. Smolder's a bit of a fiery name, isn't it? Regardless, uh, this guy needs to get away from my base right this second. Stop it, stop it. You absolute bananas. What are you doing? What are you doing? You do not, you do not need to harvest him. He's doing just fine. Oh, you absolute imbeciles. Uh, I guess I got to rearrange my dinosaurs yet again. I guess that would do. But no, the true change is now we have this set of armor. We have a set of armor that protects us from fire, which I don't know if that includes lava damage, but... I mean, it's a possibility. We have weapons that are known to be good against these types of golems. I hope so, at least. We have unstable kibble, which gives us increased damage if we want to use it. I can bring it with us. And that's about all we've really got. Aside from these little dudes right here. Now, these guys could come in handy. But at the same time, I don't have a Dirty Curious one, which obviously bumps up our defense. So the best we can really do is... Have a Kairuku on my shoulder. A little bit of extra defense, a little bit less damage dealing. It's possibly a sacrifice I'm willing to make. The question is, who comes with us for this battle? Do we jump on Fire Smolder? Do we jump on our Prime Dimorphodon? Or do we trust Triple King Kongs and hope that they're poop? As a trio, they can just bombard a Lava Golem with poop until he dies. <laughs> I don't I don't have any faith in any, any of these three options, but... um. Oh, gosh, I don't even know. I hate to do it, but I think it's going to be our Dimorphodon. Mostly because I can throw this guy here in my chibi slot and give my dude here an extra little bump of damage. Anyways, there he is. The Lava Golem Prime Wild. In all his glory. The part that I'm worried about, though, is our speed. Do I have enough speed to evade him when we inevitably need to evade him in a rush? In case you don't know much about these guys, they summon in fireballs. Very quick fireballs that will outrun us probably and kill us, explode on us, destroy us, just evaporate, decimate us. It, it's going to get nasty. The problem is, well, not the problem. What I need to be able to do is attack him and then get my butt out of there, basically. I need to attack and run for my life. If I can't do that, we are in for a very rough time. The other option, oh, of course, is we do have Doc's rifles. We have Doc's bows. We also have that sniper rifle without any ammunition. That's, yeah, okay. I, was, I guess I'm not as prepared as I thought I was. But other than just landing here, getting myself a little bit of stamina, all that's left for us to do is fire some fireballs, cross our fingers, and hope that we don't get tracked down by this guy's fireball orbs. And now that that's satisfied, I think it's time we do it. Also, let's just, let's just have a look. Okay, all right. He got angry at a Triceratops for some reason, but that's not my problem. Um, all right, let me just let me just drop a fireball. We'll see how far... I, oh, I thought I hit him. No, oh, I did. Oh, I did. Oh, we did hit him. Okay, I just need to... 
I okay now I just need to keep my eyes peeled he is angry with us I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but okay we've unloaded him he should be fine now the part yeah, what oh no Nope, there's the fireballs. There's the fireballs. Now we run. Now we run for our lives. Yeah, you see what I mean? Uh, they're still coming, by the way. They're, we can't see them, but I, I can see them. They're very, very hidden. They're these little translucent balls. It looks like we're fast enough to outrun them. They do despawn eventually too, I'm pretty sure. So that's that's good. I'm pretty sure they've despawned. But that's what we're dealing with, basically. Oh, there's still one here. There's still one here. There's still a few. Oh my gosh, I could just see them. I don't know if they... I actually don't know. I actually don't know if they're still hunting us or not. But regardless, that's the problem. That's what we're working with. These things are borderline impossible to run away from. But we might be... I think we've outrun them. <laughs> the problem is we didn't deal any damage beforehand. So let's, uh, let's, let's go again, okay? Let me just... I don't even know if this attack's going to do damage. That's the... Actually, that's the other thing. It doesn't. It, okay, fireballs. Oh, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Okay, run for your life. They're still coming. Don't worry. I can see them. I can see them, sort of. I think we outran them. Yeah, okay. Well, Dimorphodon ain't gonna work, it appears. Because we're not dealing enough damage. That was, like, no damage at all. So, Dimorphodon. Uh, oh, oh. I can still see one of those orbs. Just because... Oh, one of them's coming straight for us, too. <gasps> Oh, it got so close. It literally touched my tail. I don't even know if it's still following me or not, but yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, no, no, they're still coming. They're still coming. I, you guys won't be able to see them. Oh, gosh, I'm flying into the mountains right now. Um, They kind of disappear, and they end up as these tiny little invisible orbs, but I can only just make them out. Trust me. What do you say, old fire smolder? Do you want to give this a crack, mate? I think it's the next logical choice, to be honest. Let's have a look what this guy can do for us. So the only hope that we've got here is that my guy can, like... I don't know. Maybe his fireballs hit for a lot of damage or something. So I'm just going to go like this. They damaged something, but it wasn't him. Okay, we got fireballs coming for us. Okay, okay, we're running, we're running, they're running. There's one right there behind us too. All right, we're good. I'm pretty sure we've outrun them. Okay, the levels in speed are certainly paying off, 100% paying off. The problem is now though, when we unload those fireballs, they still remain. Have a look, there's one right down there. Now that's gonna start targeting us. I can, I can literally see them. I can literally see them targeting us. Ignore what you're looking at. I, can, I there's one on the island. Like ah, this is so annoying. I wish there was a good way for you guys to see it, but I, I know that YouTube's compression is gonna like muff it up a little bit. And you're not gonna be able to see anything. So what do we what do we know so far? It's 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 yeah no we haven't really we haven't really got much going for us other than Manticore here ain't got what it takes. Not ideal. There is one other thing that we can try to do, and that is equipped a weapon. Now, these bullets are known to deal quite a bit of damage to these guys, but in case you don't remember what happened with the poison golem, it didn't work. So I'm still going to try, but it might, I don't know. It's, it's, it's like a last resort. Not a lot of damage, not a lot of damage, not a lot of damage. Do we have fireballs coming? For yep, okay. Wow, why do you got to resort to fireballs every time? It's such a cheap tactic, dude. Yep, yep. Oh, they're right behind me. Okay, good. We outran them. Only just though. Oh, I hate this guy so much, man. And this is why the strategy is normally to ride a prime Dodecurus with a Dodecurus pick me on your shoulder and just blast him to smithereens with a weapon. Which leads us to possibly the final thing we can attempt, and that is using our explosive arrows from this bow. I don't know if this will have any effect, but I'm going to go for it. Oh, damn. Did that hit him? I think that did. But there's no way I'm going to be able to hit him with like 90 of those. Yeah, no, I can't hit it with 90 arrows. That's the silliest thing I've ever heard. That would be so silly. <laughs> that would, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot him 90 times, fly away. Uh, okay, cool. cool. Thought we'd crash there for a second. Thankfully not. That one came so close to touching me. But you guys get the problem. I can't do this 90 times. And by the time I do, he's going to have like completely healed up. So back to the drawing board, I suppose. Actually, one thing I forgot to check yesterday was this. Yes, this, my guy, now that he has evolved, can summon in Lava Golem minions. And if my memory serves me correctly, these guys can deal a good chunk of, why is there a raptor on my beach, by the way? These guys are meant to be able to deal a good chunk of damage. That's a good chunk of damage. That is a really good chunk of damage. The question is, can they deal that damage 
to a lava golem. Also, on a side note, I completely forgot and I keep forgetting and I've been reminded by the comments because one of the top comments on a recent video was how frustrated you guys are that I'm not doing it. This guy here can also do that. He can summon in minions too. So come with me, mate. I got, I got to try something out on you. And before I forget, just in case we do need to test out this sniper rifle, we're going to craft some of these up. 10 of them to be... Oh, 20 of them to be exact. Wait, can I get more of these? Oh, okay. That's got to be it then. All right, we're running out of propellant. But 40 bullets. If I can get 40 bullets fired out of this thing here, then um, I feel like that would be... A, I mean, yeah, we, I, I'd be surprised if I can even fire 40 things out of this. But anyways, uh, let's try this again. <laughs> okay, so this time around, I'm just going to land here. I'm going to press C. I'm going to summon in my little golem friends. And then I'm going to set this guy as target. And I am just going to float upwards a little bit. And hopefully they can get a hit on him before he decides to go on ground and pound them into the ground. Because they don't... Yep. Oh, he's angry already. He's angry already. <gasps> oh. Oh. They dealt a couple thousand damage. He hasn't summoned any fireballs either. So that's pretty good. But they kind of annihilated him before they had a chance of doing much, unfortunately. Uh, the question is... Can I summon a... Oh, we can resummon them in already. Oh, okay. How frequently can I summon these guys? Because... Ah, oh, for a second there, I thought it was going to let me do it again. Go away, T-Rex. I got bigger problems right now, mate. All right, go away, T-Rex. Go away. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. My guys are doing damage. They're doing damage. Not a lot. Actually, he healed up before they even did anything that time around. But I'm going to try once more. All I need is for them to, like, get a sneaky little jump in there. And we might be onto something. At least... Ooh. Oh, oh, they're throwing rocks at him, but they kind of missed. That was a terrible throw, guys. Terrible throws. Terrible throws. Oh, they're also not dealing a lot of damage anymore. What happened? What changed? Ugh. Okay, back to Dimorphodon. Except this time, I'm going to summon in... Ooh. A Dire Bear? Oh, <gasps> that's good. Dire Bears are good. Die bears have got their like special summon vanguard dude. This could actually work out. This is our one and only opportunity though. Well, ten, well, no, we could wait five minutes. We can only summon in one minion every five minutes. So let's actually have a look here and see what our dudes can do. Nothing. Oh, no, they dealt some damage. They did do some damage, but unfortunately my guy, well, not my guy, their guy decided to one shot them. Do not hit him with a fireball. All right. It's time to test this bad boy out. I have no idea how this is going to go, but I'm hoping it goes well. I also don't know what the bullet drop's going to be like, so we might actually waste a few bullets trying to hit him, but let's go. Well, yep, we failed the first shot. And the second shot. Am I too far away from him? So that's just uh, that's just an apex man score. Nothing, nothing to be too scared about. Um, let's try again. Oh gosh, fireballs are coming. We definitely hit him. I think it dealt 2,000 damage, but unfortunately, not enough. Not enough. We need more damage dealings. And I can see those fireballs coming for me. I don't feel good about that. <sighs> there is that one other thing we can try. You see, I have two prime hearts here. All we require is one more of them. I have a sacrifice elixir here. I also... Have some of these guys. Why don't I hop into my little phoenix here, give him a sacrifice elixir, press X, sacrifice him for a third prime heart relic, and then we go and summon in an ancient and see what it gives us. Yes, that's exactly what I'm about to do. You better believe we're just going to jump straight in here and do this. I don't even know what I hope to get out of this. There's not really much that can help us here. But uh, a Dodie Curious, an Ancient Dodie would be pretty cool. I don't know why I'm hoping for a Dodie, but... Well, no, I do know because it'll help us with this. But it feels weird to hope for it anyways. <gasps> I forgot the Prime Kibble. <laughs> One second. Okay, let's try this thing again. Transmute an Ancient Prime. And we got a Dire Bear of all things. Oh, uh, well, I guess it's better than nothing. It's better than some things, that's for sure. Uh, I don't even know this guy's abilities, to be honest with you. He's got his, he's got a punch. Actually, these guys hit hard, or at least the wild ones do. I don't know about the tamed ones, but that's a really good... Okay, I don't know if it's going to be enough. He's also got right-click attack that does... It's just a swipe, I guess, I think. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. See attack. 
Does that summon in my minion? It does. Um, I'm. Yeah, okay. I just want to see him attack something though, I'm, and I'm a little bit. I don't really want to. I don't really want to whistle attack because it's going to anger my dinosaurs. Yep. I knew my dragons were going to come over and try. No, guys. Oh my gosh. All right, here comes everybody. Here comes the entire squad. But not only that, I can also press X to summon in another ancient, so we can go double ancients now. Uh, now the whole beach is covered in my dinosaurs. You absolute bananas. Anyways, it might work. So the good thing here is we shouldn't have to worry about fireballs. And that's because he only summons fireballs onto me, not to my dinosaurs. All we got to do is press C and press X. And I'm hoping... Did, did X... I don't even know if X worked. Did X work? Maybe not. Oh, wait. Where's... No. Oh my gosh. He didn't even get close. He killed him. He killed him. Oh my gosh. We have no hope. We have no chance. Oh, this hurts so bad. I know I've said it like seven different times, but we've got a few more options we can try out. I wonder if Gorilla Poop hits a golem with a lot of damage. That's that's one option. It's not a great one, but it's an option. The other option is maybe I go and try and find a dirty curious pygmy. <laughs> this isn't gonna go well. Good news, we found the pygmy. Bad news, it's, it's not the one we're looking for. We found a Gigantopithecus. I'm still gonna try and tame him because why not? But you know, I don't know. Hopefully there's no King Kongs around. Oh gosh, I forgot you guys run away. <gasps> it's been so long. It's been so long. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Yep. Cool. I forgot that there's, you know, other wild dinosaurs around. I forgot that I got to run and chase and feed him a treat. What? Oh, oh, oh well, there's King Kong, by the way. Uh, I guess we found him. <laughs> he is way too close to home. I do not like that. But anyways, let me go. And get rid of this stinking Therizinosaur. I can't believe he actually killed me too. It's a, it's a Therizinosaur of all things, man. All right, let me grab my stuff. I should probably be kind of swift about it too because I'm sure there's a lot of other things around here that could easily kill me just as quickly as he just did. Man, I don't even know where the little dude ran off to. Oh, oh, there's two of them out here. Hey, what do we got? Yeah, okay, there he... Let's do it, Curious. Yo! <laughs> okay, then. Um, was that there the whole time or did I, did I completely miss it? I feel like I might've missed that. But now we've got a raptor on our hands that we've got to deal with. Uh, we've got double pygmies out here just to, you know, complicate matters. Let me get rid of the raptor. At least I can see what I'm doing now with a little bit less shade. Um, that's the dirty right in front of us. Oh my gosh, can you just not? Manticore, can you just sit still? I don't need you terrifying the poor little pygmies. I don't see any King Kongs around, which is extra good. All right. I don't care about you, Gorilla Boy. I want this guy. I want this guy. Have all 21 treats. Have all of them. Eat all of them. I don't care. Actually, no, I don't need all of them because technically I need two Dota Curuses, but one will be fine. One, one, one's good. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. We've angered Mega... Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. We've angered Mega Kong. Oh, we've angered Mega... There's another Mega Kong. There's a... Oh, no. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, that is really bad. Oh, that is really bad. That is really, really, really bad. That is really... Oh, no. They're coming for me. Um, I officially have no idea what to do. Okay, they despawned. But you know what doesn't despawn? Mega Kong. Mega Kong never despawns. Um, where did he go? There he is. Is he still angry? Or are we cool? Are we cool, Mega Kong? Why are there two of you? There's two of you? Like... I think he's cool, though. I think he's cool. All right. I think he got over it. Ferox has been defeated. Do you think I care about a Ferox right now, game? All right. Regardless, that's a good sign. I was worried we were going to have to worry about Mega King Kong for the rest of time until he killed us. Uh, let me just land and make sure he's not still angry because I fully expected him to be. I just hope the one at my base isn't still angry because if he is... Well, if he got angry at all because if he is, he's going to go straight for my base. Um, regardless... Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, <laughs> now we got a Vanguard to worry about too. And he got all the stats you do not want to see on a uh, on a King Kong. But that's fine because I have a ridiculously powerful Magikor with one job and one job only right now. And that's to absolutely annihilate this Vanguard. You're not hitting me with that, mate. You're not hitting me with that. I have no idea if Mega King Kong's gonna come for us, but either way, the Vanguard is dead. Uh, Mega King Kong, what's he up to? He's just chilling down there. He's just chilling. All right, good. But now I wanna know if he dropped me any loot. He 
did. We got meats and we got treats and that's about it. Okay. I don't think I've ever have to have kept my eyes open as much as I do right now because I do not know if Mega King Kong is just going to spirit. Oh, I succeeded. Okay. We've got him. We've got the pygmy. I just need to find it now. And who knows where he got to? Oh, he's right here. He's right here. Never mind. It's all good. All right. We've got our pygmy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, oh gosh. I didn't mean to do that. Um, okay. Now I'm kind of, now I'm kind of abandoned out here for a second. Hold on a second. All right. You get out. I wonder how many treats he ate. He ate 12 treats. I think I gave him 31 treats or did I give him 21 treats? Regardless, it was either 12 or two, three, three. I don't know. At least we got this guy though. So that's positive. The question is how hard is he going to be to evolve or more like it? first shot? Okay. I was going to say, how many treats is he going to take to evolve? Just the one, apparently. He... Oh, imagine if we get a unique out of this. It didn't even cross my mind until right now. Okay. Uh, that should be all the meat that we need. We're going to chuck 25 pieces on him. And we're going to cross our fingers. There's all 25. Show me what you can do for me, little guy. Turn into the amazing, unique... You know that I want you to be... Three, two... One and go. He's not a unique, but it doesn't matter. He's a one level, he's level 1,342 Dodecurus. And he's also the first Dodecurus to receive this amazing saddle right here. See, last time we didn't have access to this. This time we do. Hey, remember how I was saying these Mega King Kongs just roam around the world doing whatever they want? Well, I meant it. And he's currently staring me down from the top of our mountain. I don't even know which one this is. I'm pretty sure there's two of them, unless that's a third one. I have no idea how we got up there, but he is up there. Yep. Cool. Ooh. I wonder what we got here. Oh, okay. Let's have a look. So in case you're wondering what I was just up to, I thought I'd head out and just try kill a couple primes or what was out there. Killed a Dimorphodon, Polar Bear, Griffin, but eventually got what I was looking for. Kind of. I mean, ideally, if I just had a straight out Dota Curus, that would have been perfect. But uh, instead, we have ourselves a Pygmy Summoning Artifact. And I'm going to cross my fingers and I'm going to hope that it's Dota Curus instead. I'm going to throw it in my hot bar just so I can, like, you know, prolong the suspense a little bit. But here we go in three, two, one, and... Oh! <laughs> okay. All right. No shot. Okay. Well, uh, that's as close as things are going to get to all being... <gasps> Wait a second. Why didn't I think of this sooner either? Hold on. I've got... I'm pretty sure... Do I not have it? Hold on. I'm pretty sure I got... Yeah, there it is. I've got a Dodecurus Chibi. Also, I got a second uh, Dimorphodon Chibi from our little fighting just there. But we got a Dodecurus Chibi as well. And he's freaking beautiful. Okay. Wait. All I got left to do. All I got left to do to like really give this a shot. What have I done with my treats? I need treats. I got to get this guy up to Apex. So hopefully he can do that nice and qu quick. Um, but once we have that, get them in there. I got to let this... Well, yeah. Get my guy to evolve into an Apex. Jump atop my friend over here who actually isn't even leveled up yet. It's okay. You know what I'm going to do? Yeah, no. If, you, if, you, if you're thinking I'm going to go and like do the old-fashioned way, go and throw my armor on and uh, get this guy all maxed out like that, nah, I'm just going to straight up max XP him with an elixir. <laughs> Let's go. Now, we want him basically just to be a tank. That's all I need him to do. So every single one of these levels is going into health. All of them. Every single one of them. I don't know how much health that's going to give me, but we're fighting a dinosaur that can hit for over 100,000 damage. So it's going to take quite a bit. Also, my dude here, it doesn't seem to be evolving. <laughs> he does not want to evolve. Uh, that's problematic, mate. But lucky for me, I've got extra treats that I can feed thee. So have some more. Have eight more. I don't care. Just, just evolve. I, I don't care how many you use. Just use them all. Just use every single itty bitty one of them. Anyways, there we go. Maxed out. Oh, I just realized my duty has like horrible health. 156 levels in health compared to the rest. That is absolute trash. Uh, anyways, 
where we're going, we don't need health potions. So I'm just going to drop the health potion on you. <gasps> I should have... Um... Hold on. Hold on. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. I can't remember which armor set. I think it's the leather set. The leather set gives extra healing, I'm pretty sure. Or like HP regeneration. So... Ah. I'm, I'm ruining this. All right. That, I think, should give us better HP regeneration. My juice evolved. Hey, all right. There we go. Did he really use all the treats or did I? Oh, no. He used three more of them. Wow. But there we are. We've got the Apex. He's a level 1070. We'll pop him on the shoulder. And now we officially got the trio. We got the shoulder pet. We got the, well, I don't know what you call this guy. The little Roman pet. And then we've got this guy who's currently in a bowl and you know what just as one last final measure i'm actually going to go and drop some very 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 expensive items into a health potion that we have never crafted up before actually have we crafted one either ways very expensive i hope I didn't just do that for nothing. All right. So after many failed attempts at making this happen, I went back to the drawing board. In fact, I realized if we're going to go and throw everything at this, we may as well throw everything at this. So I went and killed a bunch of primes, whatever. I went and killed a bunch of dinosaurs, whatever. I also went and sacrificed a bunch of weapon blueprints to my little gerbil down here. But the reason, the reason, the reason I was looking for some form of ammunition or weapon or something like that is because... Like I said, I want to throw everything at this guy on this last attempt, which includes our Fat Man Rocket Launcher. The only problem is I've only got one nuke for this thing. I've got one shot for this. I don't know how much damage it deals. I got no idea how much damage this thing is going to deal, but I think it is going to... Look, it, it can't hurt to try it, basically, is what I'm saying. You see, this time around, I think I'm going in with a bit of a different outlook. I think with this armor, with this dinosaur, and with this combination of everything going on, we might be better off actually just trying to sponge the fireballs. Either way, we're going to have to cop them. Instead of, though, combining the fireballs with melee damage, maybe we just try and, like, stand just out of reach and we try and hit him from a distance. The fireballs are going to blast us. We're going to have to deal with that. If they kill us, they kill us. If they don't, then fantastic. But his melee attack deals anywhere in the range from 50,000 damage to 100,000 damage. So if I can miss that, dodge that, do what I can to avoid that, then that might be the... the that well, Yeah, that might just be what we need to do, basically. So, um, yeah. One final attempt for the day uh in fact it's not even the day i've recorded this video over two days <laughs> two days of preparation are going into this battle i got a terrible i don't think this is gonna go well but uh there's only one way to find out i gotta get closer to this guy oh, all right this looks like a good enough cliff that we might be able to i don't know work something out with but let's go baby it's time to drop a nuke on this guy's face i'm not gonna waste any time i'm just gonna drop this thing open up my spyglass oh why am i poisoned that is really inconvenient timing. Oh, oh my gosh, that dealt some damage. I don't even know how much. Oh, health potions, health potions. Who is attacking me right now? Oh gosh. Okay, he hit me with a big rock and it really hurt. All right, well, I'm alive. We seem to be stomaching the fireballs. That's good. Why so, what is that? What is that? I've actually got time to look. <gasps> no, I don't. Oh my gosh, I'm rolling down the cliff. What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh boy. Oh no, no, no. No, no, no. I don't want melee damage. Also, the rocks, the rocks really, really hurt. Also, why am I <gasps> more fireballs? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I just need to I just need to get to safety. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Um scale the cliff. Actually, I <gasps> I got an idea. I can probably outrun him. Right? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe he unaggros either ways. Oh, he's too angry. But that's fine. He's at a distance. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. This, this, it's so hard to shoot on the back of this guy. I didn't anticipate this. Oh gosh. All right. Fireballs, whatever. I'm fine. For whatever reason. Oh, we got the armor. We've got the armor. Of course, the fire, we're fine with the fireballs. Okay. That's good. I'm still copping damage. Don't get me wrong. But we've got health potions. So I'm not too concerned about it. It's those rocks that he's pelting at our face that will be the end of us here. I just got it. Oh, man, he healed up so much. All right, we're good. We're good. I'm actually going to drop a measly trashy. That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. I was going to say. All right, another health potion in. Oh, we might be underprepared with the health potions. I think I needed more health potions. All right, roll away. Roll away. Get our butts out of here right this second. Uh, who would have thought that this... Oh, gosh. He's coming. But what's it with this ball over here? 
Okay, we're good. We're good. What's what's this? What's this about? What's this about? What if I hit it? Nothing. Nothing happens. Okay, run. <laughs> I have no idea what that bolt that thing is, but interesting. Interesting. All right. Oh gosh, he's coming so fast. I, I don't want to fight you. In, I don't want to fight you in melee. I'm so worried about this. This is not going according to plan at all. But then is it? I don't know. He's down 40,000 health. But we haven't really dealt any damage beyond what we dealt with the... Oh, gosh. That, that nearly killed me. I think we're right. Okay. We're right in saying the fireballs are fine. Oh, go, go, go. Rocks and melee damage. Bad news. But I just need to regain my composure. You know what I'm going to do to do that? I'm just going to run away. I'm going to run away from my problems. At least, hopefully, I can unload him. If I can unload him, that would be great. But he's just too fast. He is ridiculously quick. And he's healing up ridiculously fast as well. Oh, gosh. That tree just saved my life. Oh, my gosh. Ah! Ah, no. Go, 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 go. Go, son. <laughs> I'm stuck on a rock. I repeat, stuck on a rock. But he kind of got a little bit lost in that mess as well. Okay, go, 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 son. Go, go, go. Okay. <laughs> Who would have thought? I didn't expect the battle to go this long. I honestly thought it'd be, we'd be dead in like a second. I thought we'd be dead in a flash of a heartbeat. But now I'm starting to think maybe, one, I need more health potions. That part's pretty obvious at this point. Two, um, I, if, I could, if I could get him stuck... In a bit of an, a compromising position. I don't even know where he's going, by the way. If I could get him stuck between some trees, I wonder how this would go. And, you know, with adequate health potions, which I clearly do not have. So I kind of lost him and it's taken me some time to find him again. Problem is, I bet you he's like super healed up. He is. And I'm pretty much out of ammunition and all that sort of stuff. Who is attacking me? Bugger off, Allosaurus. Get out of here. Wow, that dealt really good damage. Wow, that room deals really good damage. Like, really good damage. Oh my gosh, hold on a second. The bow deals, like, insane damage. Um, we might, we might have a Hail Mary here, guys. We might, we might have a last resort. Where's he gone? All right, okay. Like I said, dodge the melee, dodge the rocks. And we might be onto something. I just need to locate him before he locates me. Where is he? Not you, Saber, mate. Get out of my face, will ya? Oh, okay. He's down here. I just saw that rock fly. Okay. Oh, my gosh. We are getting attacked by so much random stuff right now. It is so triggering. Get out of here. Okay, fireballs. I don't care. That I care about. Ouch, that really hurt. That deals 50,000 damage when you get hit by one of those. Wow. Okay, and he's just going to keep on throwing them too. Fair enough. You know, for works. Why not? But... Oh my gosh, that was so close. That was so close, but we've got him nearly beneath. 100,000 health. Oh, get out of this water right this second. Go, go, go. Go. Okay. That was way too close. Oh my gosh. This is actually working though. Is it working? Do you even call this working? I got no idea. But he's below 100,000. Yes. I call this working. I 100% call this working. There is an actual chance that we get victorious out of this, which blows my mind to smithereens. Where are you? Oh, gosh. That rock would have hurt. <laughs> He's down to 65. He's down to 60. Oh, gosh. Oh, he was right on my tail just then, too. Okay. Okay. We're going up the beach. Turns out I don't think I need to run away from... Like, I don't need to go too far to get away from him. I've just lost him somehow, too. Where did he... Oh, there he is. We haven't lost a thing. 
<laughs> oh gosh. Move. What a shot that was. Run. Potions in. I'm out of one. We've only got one type of potion left. Just by the way. And that's problematic. For obvious reasons. Uh, we are, we're going down pretty quick here. All right. Oh man, if I if health potions end up being the reason we don't win this, uncry. Oh, why don't we just fire them quicker? Okay, for some reason, I don't know what was going on there, but for some reason, I couldn't fire my last two shots off. <laughs> He's down to ten thousand health, guys. It's almost like this thing here is giving him protection. I'm actually not sure. But, uh, okay. We are, we are like, onto something here. We've, we're actually gonna do this. We're actually gonna do this thing. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, my gosh. It didn't go the way I thought it would. Ah, but I didn't even care. I didn't even care. Let's finish these fireballs off, man. We got it! We actually did not much the crying, guys. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm actually tearing up. Oh, where did this even come from? Why is this up here? Um, wow. Wow, 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 wow. I'm shocked. I'm absolutely shocked. I didn't think we were gonna, I didn't think we were gonna do that. I didn't think, I didn't think we were gonna manage it. But, um, oh my gosh. <laughs> we got it for love for God, of God. It's ours. It is ours. Hold on. I feel like I gotta at least try and harvest this guy. Also, wow, my pickaxe sucks. Um, eh, a little bit of titanium and tungsten. That's better. Not really, though. It's actually pretty garbage. How about from this thing here? What exactly is this? Uh, pick it up. Oh, that's lava stones. Oh, okay. I know that they're used in one of the recipes for something, and I guess they are dropped from a lava golem. All right, let's, uh, <laughs> let's take it home. Oh my gosh. Look, guys, I know I said we we're going to be evolving this manticore today, but, um, you know, things didn't go that way. But they did go successfully and without a casualty somehow. I don't know how. I don't know why. I don't know where. But tomorrow, we're getting a prime manticore.